What's up, everybody? What's up, fellas? What's up, ladies? What's going on, beautiful people of the United States of America and around the world? We are here again today, live people. Um, hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Just tell me, come to you guys again today, live. It's Sunday today. It is June the 12th. It is 2 p.m. today. Um, just come and talk to you guys about crypto land, DeFi space, uh, and all of that good stuff. <clears throat> Before we move forward, though, please, guys, go ahead, click the like and subscribe button below. It really helps this channel circulate around YouTube so more people can just see uh, more types of content like this so they can get educated, right? <clears throat> Um, I'm just going to show you guys, um, just, you know, a few, uh, DeFi platforms that I've been looking at for the past week, uh, and a couple new ones, right? So I showed you guys in my previous video, uh, a couple DeFi projects I was looking at this past week as well, too. Uh, pretty similar ones too. I'm going to show you guys again in this video, uh, kind of progress updates, but also some new ones that I found some new ones that'll help you out. Um, also guys, you know, I really appreciate, you know, the channel is growing, but um, I want to talk to you guys that are coming from uh, these investor groups, right? That are coming from groups that are investing in like Cuba Tech, right? Or MTI uh, or even DAISY, right? You are trying to get um, an APR or an APY um, on your deposit, right? <clears throat> So the, the, the crazy thing guys is, um, the crazy thing that a lot of you guys in this space, some of you guys in this crypto space, you guys know that, uh, you know, when a project comes to our desk, right? You see it usually, um, you know, usually we see, and usually lots of us like to see, Hey, we're getting a, you know, this percentage fixed percentage a day. You know, maybe put in a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, whatever. We are going to be getting a percentage uh, each day for I don't know how many days, probably a year, two years, um, you know, or for whatever package you get, right? Or you just like in Cuba Tech, right? Uh, you know, you you know, whatever you put in, you get you know two hundred fifty percent out of there, right? So you know, in those platforms, guys. Uh, like I said before, especially in my other podcasts, you know, I, I don't, uh, I don't really deal with those. Um, I haven't been dealing with those lately and I don't, I don't plan to deal with them ever again, really. Um, I, I don't like those hype programs. They're hype. Um, a lot of them turn out to be scams. You guys know that. So we're looking to really obviously decrease risk, lower risk, lower risk, because we don't want to come back in three months, six months or a year. And then next thing you know, you know, that company is gone or uh, so, so and so exit scammed or <clears throat> something happened, right? We want something that's more stable. We want something that uh, is is liquid, right? So if we put in if we put in a deposit, right? This is why I loved uh, Copy Pro Traders. Why did I love Copy Pro Traders, Calvin? Why did you like Copy Pro Traders for? Well, it was pretty much because it's easy. You know, you hook up the APIs to your exchange, right? You leave the funds on your exchange, and they trade for you. The AI traders, the traders, right? That are on the other side. All right, they don't know, but they're trading. So whatever trade they make, your account, you make them too, right? So if they made 10%, you made 10%, right? They made 20, you made 20. And the reason why I love Copy Pro Traders is because you get to obviously um, stick that, you, you, you know, you get to get access to your funds. You have access to your funds whenever the exchange doesn't lock up your funds or anything like that. Anything that tries to lock up your funds, guys, for a certain amount of time, uh, and you, you know, it's hard for you to withdraw, right, or even borrow against it. I would definitely stay away from those types of vehicles, from those, you know, types of quote unquote investment vehicles, right? So that's why again guys i don't like um i don't like messing around with things like cuba tech or even you know the other one was uh mirror trading international right guys remember mti 
you know, that one, we, we, we all love that one, right? Uh, in our group, we all love that one. That one was paying perfectly, right? That one, it looked like, you know, MTI was going to be going up for a couple of years, right? But unfortunately, same thing happened, right? Next thing you know, a couple of months later down the road, exit scam, right? People lost their money. And luckily, I took out all my funds from MTI before they even did that, right? So this is why, again, high programs like those, uh, it just kind of makes me sick, especially, you know, they keep coming up, people keep investing in them, and then you keep losing money. So, you know, that's the thing. And what, what was the quote by uh, Einstein or was it Shakespeare? You know, insanity is doing something over and over again, getting the same results, right? So obviously we know that, especially on this channel, you know, when we talk about um, just pretty much reducing risk, we talk about investing safe uh, low risk, uh, high reward, and definitely being stable. That is not a model. Uh, the previous one I was talking about, where you are going to where it's going to be sustainable, right? So it's not a model where it's going to be sustainable. But this model, these models here, guys, right? So with all investment comes risk. And I'm going to let you guys know I'm not a financial advisor or anything. This is purely for uh, education and infor, uh, entertainment information purpose, purposes only. But, you know, like I tell, you know, people that uh, that are in the group or even that, you know, come talk to me and, you know, that want to pitch me a project or something like that. I always tell them, you know, only go in with what you can afford, you know, so don't, don't go in with your, you know, your rent money or your bill money or whatever, go in with what you can afford, right? So, um, you know, moving past those other hype programs, let's discuss DeFi, okay? So DeFi, guys, is a huge booming space, guys, okay? So um, basically... What I love doing now is yield farming, uh, staking and providing liquidity uh, to, um, you know, these really good uh, decentralized exchanges, right? And providing liquidity to them, you know, and pretty much receiving fees from all those trading fees, right? So once you provide liquidity, um, you as liquidity provider keep receiving fees over and over and over again it's like it's kind of like building like cash flow right so um you guys know how i talk about mind uh mind shift sunday or mind shift monday i always talk about you know thinking long term think about cash flow right you know uh and this is the thing about uh, this is the thing about investing and even trading and even making money in general right um uh, most people are thinking short term, right? They want those short term dollars, right? Uh, I want I want to encourage you guys to think more long term, right? To think longer, right? Linear, longer, and so not just in terms of you know a year, you know, uh, you know, a month, three months. I want you to think in terms of you know in terms of a year, uh, two, three, five years, you know, uh, and plan your investments and everything that way right because and especially with more solid uh with more solid protocols with more solid platforms right so these DeFi um projects they some of them are protocols right so these DeFi projects some of them are protocols for example one of them is called coin swap right which is uh, fairly new but it's been audited uh a few times and it's been audited by a very popular one called Certic as well, and a few other ones as well too. Um, you know, their CSS token, it's listed on the Clever Wallet. Um, I showed you guys this in my last video too, but if you haven't seen this one too, so the guys uh, behind, I believe behind Troncase, the project, they are also um, behind this exchange as well too. Right, so, Pretty much what you would do is come over to this exchange. You can yield farm, earn at least 400% um, right, by yield farming right, on your deposit, which is really good. Right? So um, I 
personally, I did I did start yield farming with uh, CoinSwap. They were doing really really well. Um, the APRs for some reason I started at 800, around 800 percent, right? So that would be 800 for the year. But then over a period of time, guys, you'll start to see as the liquidity pools start to fill up, the percentages also start to go down right now. So, um, you know, how much you're earning, really, it really becomes, uh, how should I say, the, the price, right? So the actual price, the percentage, uh, it also, it comes back to reality, right? So that high inflationary 800%, right? Mm -hmm or a thousand percent or three thousand percent uh some of these liquidity pools what usually happens is that you know when they're new they're able to yield you're able to yield you know two thousand five thousand ten thousand twenty thousand percent right and you're like oh man you know this is a huge huge percentage i can gain per year right if i put a hundred dollars i'm getting twenty thousand percent you know that's a lot that's 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 a lot of you know that's twenty twenty thousand dollars right or even more than that right so if you do the math on that but the thing about it is guys is that um these uh these pools if they're early they're able to pay out the rewards i see but once they start filling up in terms of you know if they have a couple million maybe four five six seven million in each pool right then the APRs and the percentages start to come down, right? They start to come back down to a reasonable rate where, you know, you're going to earn uh, over the period of the year. Not all of them do this, though. I'll show you guys one of them uh, that is really consistent, actually. And um, their whole project, their whole token, their whole protocol um, has hundreds of millions of dollars locked up. I truly believe by the end of the summer, this protocol will have over a billion dollars locked up in value. And definitely by the end of the year, I think it should be maybe it should be at least it should be at least, uh, you know, one point five to two billion uh, locked up in value. OK, so, you know, when you have those types of numbers, guys. Uh, you know, it's very hard to argue and it's very hard to think that, hey. Uh, this is this is going to be this is going to be a scam, right? Or this is going to these guys are going to exit scam, right? So it's very hard to argue that, right? But we talk about this. We talk about coin swap. This is new guys. They have their yields farming, pretty great rewards. You get to earn in CSS token right now. The CSS token is seven dollars eighty six cents. You earn that. Uh, you know, and then you're also able to, you're also able to stake that as well too, right? So if we go into staking here, right? So we go into staking, you get to stake your CSS. You have that 20% bonus, you get to stake for about 300% uh, percent a year, right? And so that 300% a year guys, uh, you know, let's, let's think back to Tron case. This is similar to Tron case. Tron case is, uh, about 300%, right? So, you know, you put in a hundred dollars, you're getting three hundred percent of that, right? You put in three hundred, you're getting that. So over a period of time, right? So over a period of that year, right? So over a period, it doesn't have to be for that year, right? Until uh, you are actually paid out in full, right? Of that percentage. So that's pretty good, right? And then you get to stake CSS and earn link. Pretty cool, right? So that is coin swap that's this is also ran on the binance smart chain okay so if you guys are looking to go ahead yield farm there you got uh make sure your metamask wallet is connected to the binance smart chain and make sure um you know so you're able to do that okay the next one i wanted to show you guys two guys which is not on the binance smart chain but it is on the who smart chain and this is pudding swap right so Putting swap guys is again similar decentralized exchange. Um, you pretty much need uh, to run on the Binance smart chain. You need Binance. You need BNB. You need the Binance token uh, to pay for those fees, right? So if you're looking to yield farm, say on Coin Swap, make sure you have at least you know ten dollars, twenty dollars of Binance, so you can start paying for those fees. Those fees are very small, very minimal compared to Ethereum, right? So when we move over here on putting swap 
This is going to be on uh, the Who Smart Chain. Here, guys, you need to have your MetaMask wallet filled with Who, right? So, uh, and Who, I love the Who Exchange. Um, I use the Who Exchange all the time. Who is actually ran by, um, um, you know, founders of the Hyperfund group too, guys. So let's keep that in mind. These guys are really huge crypto uh, billionaires and investors, and they're definitely in this space, right? And so this is one of their exchange called Pudding Swap, right? Pretty similar to Pancake Swap, except uh, you earn uh, pudding, so EPUD. And these tokens, they have value. So don't think that, hey, Calvin, what are you saying? What am I earning? Pudding? You know, how am I going to convert this into dollars? This is pretty simple, guys. You know, they, these uh, these tokens have value. You come to the exchange. You can swap out uh, the pudding for who? You can swap out the pudding for uh, Bitcoin. You can swap out the pudding for uh, the Binance token, for Ethereum, for the USDT, right? But it's all going to be on the who smart chain, right? And so that's pretty much what it is guys and you can see the the farms here you can see the apys you can see the uh, the latest apy here is 314 percent the latest apy here is 341 percent and you see all these other ones 431 percent apy and you know keep this in mind guys apy is compounded over the year right so apr doesn't factor in compounding right apy factors in compounding all right but still as long as you're able to do that, I mean, you should be good, right? So having an APY of 300, 400, 500, 600, 800 is amazing, guys, right? So imagine if you're like, hey, you know, I have some money. I don't know where to put it. You know, it's in the bank, but, you know, I want it to be working a little bit. I want it to be growing. You know, I, I need it somewhere where, you know, I, you know, it's liquid, right? So I can get in, I can get out any time. It's growing, uh, you know, I'm growing per year, you know, every single day you know i come back at the end of the day the balance is growing right this is exactly what i want you know and this is this is where i would suggest you you know again a financial advice but this is where i'd put it for sure personally so you have this here you have farming on putting swap you also have staking uh the pud token is about 13 cents right now right so you see the EPUD holders proportionally split 20% of PUD block emissions each day, right? So 10 PUD per block, right? So um, pretty much when you stake, guys, you get to earn PUD, right? So you're staking, you stake pudding, and you get to earn pudding as well, too. So you get to earn 300%, right? APY, so kind of similar to uh, Tron case in a way right so about 300 percent you earn that you stake it and it's just going to be earning every day if you're looking to uh withdraw you just harvest those earnings right and it'll harvest into your wallet you would take those earnings that interest and you'd go swap it out and, and go ahead and cash out right so that is putting swap right there and then we have this over here too guys which is panther swap now panther swap guys is um pretty interesting i've been uh looking at panther swap for uh, about a couple weeks now um i did my, my actually my very first yield farm that when i really started knowing what i was doing was in panther swap right Unfortunately, the actual yield farm itself, so the liquidity pool, um, they encourage you to do your own research, right? So I suggest if you're even investing in liquidity pool, make sure that the tokens have enough liquidity across the market, like just in general, right? So even if you're doing a liquidity pool for a safer, maybe Pancake and BNB, I would say that's probably, that's definitely more safe right than doing a liquidity pool uh you know for a token that you never even heard of right so literally this is what i did i did liquidity pool for uh bnb and shark and so shark token it's not really listed a lot of places not even listed on coinbase binance who exchange usually lots of the smaller tokens guys are listed on smaller exchanges like you know um it wasn't even listed on who exchange or anything like that so you know uh long story short uh 
what happened was within the liquidity pool, somebody, so since the token doesn't have a lot of value and it's fairly new and there's not a lot of circulating supply, and this can easily happen if there's only like less than a few million or even maybe even a few million in total circulating supply, uh, somebody can just come in with a big amount and they pretty much, uh, they didn't hack the liquidity pool, but they sucked out all the value from the liquidity pool from the, from a move, right? So a financial kind of move that they did. And so what ended up happening was for you guys that know this, that the shark token, it plummeted in value and then the whole liquidity pool was just done. You know, I think it was yielding about 800% or a thousand percent a year. And that was APR. That wasn't even APY. And what happened was that lots of people, um, you know, they, they lost in that liquidity pool. You know, someone came in with big pockets and they, they pretty much drained it. Right. Um, and again, again, guys, this is not like they didn't hack the exchange or the liquidity pool. They just came in and, uh, they maneuvered in a way where they had more funds and they were able to do that. Right. But if it was a large cap coin, say for maybe like Ethereum or Binance coin, it would, it's very, no one's going to be able to do that. You know, you'd have to have a lot of money to be able to do that, right? Maybe one person, maybe I have like, uh, maybe a few million to do that in a pool, but not one person, right? Or an organization is gonna have hundreds of millions or even billions of dollars to affect the liquidity pool, right? That just won't happen. And even the people that are providing liquidity pools won't let that happen, right? So that's pretty much happened there. But Panther Swap, you pretty much earn Panther. It's uh, 18 cents right now. Uh, pretty simple. You got those. Uh, you got farms here too. You also have uh, liquidity pools here too. So pretty simple. Um, so you pretty much um, you stake. You 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 can stake Panther. You can earn Panther. You stake B BUSD. You can earn Panther. You can stake other coins too, and you can earn Panther. Right. Um, personally, I'm not earning any Panther right now. Panther is not even traded like on Binance or uh, who would be or uh, Coinbase or who exchange. So pretty much, you know, I'm going to leave this exchange alone, but I know it's getting popular. Lots of people, you know, that I talk to, they, they love, they like, they really like Panther swap, right? So the next one, the next protocol is Walt, which is probably one of my favorites for right now, right? So as you can see, it's decentralized finance protocol, right? Connecting all the DeFi features into a Walt ecosystem. Right? Let me tell you guys, these guys, these guys have a roadmap. I love their protocol because they have a roadmap. They have a plan. They know what they're doing. They have a few tokens on them. They have launch pads too, guys, which are pretty much uh, pre-sales of tokens that are coming out in the market. So say, you know, uh, say if you were a part of a platform, say maybe 10, 20 years ago, and they were offering a pre-sale uh, IPO of Facebook, you know, you're able to buy Facebook at like probably like a dollar. This is pretty much what Wealth Finance is doing, except in the crypto space where they're having launch pads for, uh, you know, new, uh, you know, ICOs uh, and coins that are coming out. And these let me tell you guys, I, I looked at their launch pad and these coins, uh, they go up real in value. The last the last uh, token that I saw was the HFI token. The launch pad, it started at a pre-sale and this was just in May. This was less than a month ago. Uh, let me show you guys actually, instead of uh, rambling on about it here, I'm going to show you here, let's see. They had a token. It's called H5. Started at $2 per token. Now I look online <clears throat> and H5 is on the market right now. It's trading around $4,000 per token, right? So imagine getting in, <clears throat> getting like a token at $2 or you, you, you know, you buy like 20 or a hundred tokens at $2, right? And then next thing you know, a month later, it goes to 4,000. I mean, you know, you do the math. I mean, you're, you know you're having a good day you are definitely having a good day right so this was the h5 so the holder finance <clears throat> it's great guys they have plenty of these projects and they keep rolling them out guys that's what i love about them they just keep coming and they keep rolling them out you can see the roadmap here 
So the quarter, so for quarter three, which is what we're in in 2021, you can see they're going to have a stable coin deployment. They're going to have a six launch pad presale. They're going to have the decentralized governance uh, implementation. They're going to have seventh launch pad presale. They're going to have the lending platform. They're going to have the eighth launch pad presale as well, right? So that is just amazing, right? So they're they're going to have um a seventh they're going to have a sixth seventh and eighth launch pad pre-sales right so you're going to have opportunities to purchase tokens that are not even on the market three times this summer the third quarter of 2021 three times so you guys will be able to have that right um and so this is this is just amazing right you can see their partners here certic auto farm polygon alpaca holder finance 11 finance multiplier uh, multiplier is a great lending protocol as well um for like very big flash loans and stuff like that those are like huge million dollar huge million dollar loans um this is just an amazing protocol guys right so if i launch the app too let's launch the app here So, yeah, so if I launch the app too, right, so I launch it, and it's going to be loading for a little bit, right? So really the total value locked up, guys, uh, you'll be able to see it, but the total value uh, is over 600 million, right? So I think it's over 700 million, right? So you can see 672 million. Uh, that's a lot, right? And this is growing. So I think last week was over 400 million. Now it's over 700 million. Within the next few weeks, it can be, or even the next, you know, by the end of the month, even till July, it could be hitting over a billion, right? That's a lot of change. And the fact is, guys, is that they're coming out with new ICOs, new launch pad, new coins, right? That's just amazing, guys. If you guys are not excited, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Right, so you have the um, you have their overview here. You have their farming here too. So let's check out their farming really really good rates and this is apr guys this is apr and uh you know so they have over 655 million locked up in their liquidity pools right for farming and this is just awesome right so you see 215 percent 100 percent 500 percent apr 500 percent 400 percent 100 percent uh 659 percent uh, and this is a new liquidity pool too. definitely do your own research. Uh, that's the best. Um, that's that's pretty much your best hedge against anything uh, in the market, guys, is doing your own research 100 percent. Don't just take what I'm saying to you. Really go ahead and do your own research as well, too, to be extra, extra secure. But you also have Matic, which is Polygon uh, liquidity pool. So you can stake Polygon here. You can stake Alpaca here. Uh, you can stake multiplier here. You can stake Ethereum here. Uh, I mean, you can farm Ethereum here. You can farm uh, Walt and BNB. You can farm their WEX token. Okay. Um, all these farms here, guys, which is just amazing. You can also do Chainlink. Chainlink, uh, they have a liquidity pool for Chainlink, right? So. This is by far one of my favorite ones, favorite protocols to come on and to yield farm in. And, you know, you just, you earn money, guys. <clears throat> you definitely earn some good, good money. Right. And so the next one uh, that I want to show you guys is auto farm. Okay. And auto farm is probably one of my, uh, it's probably my favorite, the favorite, my favorite place to yield farm. Right um they're just like i don't know uh you, they are they they're one of the largest yield farm aggregators in the market right now okay so they it's pretty much like a walmart or a toys r us of yield farming liquidity pools and things like that right so they don't really offer staking they just do yield farming right they have uh, farming vaults so they have their staked vaults right so you can yield farm there uh, and they have these percentages that you can yield the the crazy thing about auto farm it yes so once you stake it does pay you in autos all right you do have auto rewards 
But the crazy thing is, guys, is that it's not only paying you an auto, right? So you're getting paid back in the original liquidity providing token back into the into the actual token, right? So I'm getting paid uh, um, on this token, right? On this LP token, the wrap BNB and the WEX token, right? So where is this coming from? This this is uh, this is coming from Walt, right? So I'm pretty much yield farming. You can say Wex or Walt, right? On Auto Farm and earning huge, huge gains there, right? So the gains, guys. This right here, it says um, you can see the average APY is eight thousand uh, percent, right? So this really fluctuates to at least I've seen it go at least to five and a half percent to at most uh twelve and a half percent right so where does it really trade though where does it really um, stay between in the week i see it stay between to at least um you can say seven and a half thousand to um at most i would say ten and a half right so 7.5 to 10k and that's still guys really really good that's over five thousand percent apy and not only do that not only is it on this uh liquidity pool here too you also so they also have other liquidity pools here too you can gain as you can see uh over 200 percent here 300 percent uh farming belt and then the other one that i really like too that the next one i probably are probably going to jump in on <clears throat> is the uh rap bnb and walt right so the other one is the wrap BNB and WEX. This is the wrapped BNB and WALT, right? So the wrapped BNB and WALT, they're paying you uh, about 4,000% annually, right? 4,000% guys, that is that is amazing, right? So when you, when you consider the banks giving you 0.01 or 0.01% on your deposit, that is this is amazing compared to that right so if you had a bank that was paying you over four thousand percent i think you would put that money in the bank right away right you would just leave it there right so uh and collect interest on it right and let me tell you guys something guys um uh you know this is this is the this is the concept i was talking to you guys before uh, you want to make sure you're putting your money to work right um, you know, you know, again, you know, working is always good. And, you know, I, I, I love, you know, working is great. Love the grind, love everything. But the best thing to do, right, is uh, deploying your capital that you have to work. It's going to work harder than you um, almost all the time, right? And, you know, it's just going to be much better for you, right? So um, that's pretty much what it is, right? So as you can see on um, the APY calculations, it shows here too, guys. You have the farm here, the APR, you have 390%. Uh, you have the optimal compounds per year, and you have all these, right? And so these are the fees also too that you're collecting while you're providing liquidity, I believe, uh, or capital. Yeah, so, you know, or these are the fees I believe you have to pay, but still very very low i think these are the fees you're collecting or paying but still these are very very low i know as a liquidity provider you are technically collecting fees from the liquidity pool too so i think these are the ones you are collecting too so um yeah very very amazing guys auto farm is probably the best yield uh aggregator that uh you know that i'm gonna keep going with you know auto farm and they're not going anywhere guys trust me these guys have over a billion dollars locked up um they have pretty much their own like insurance uh company internally so if anything goes wrong with the liquidity pool that they've posted right they they, they have extensive researchers they have a real solid team so if something goes wrong they're able to uh they have insurance policies that you can buy 
for pretty cheap, right? For each liquidity pool that if it goes wrong, you know, you can be automatically compensated, right? So um, these guys, these guys are partnered with a lot of different protocols too, with Walt, I think, I believe with PancakeSwap. Um, they've are, they've been audited multiple times by various multiple auditors. They have a huge community. You can go check them out on Telegram. Uh, you can check out their contract too on GitHub as well too. If you have any business inquiries, you can contact them too. Uh, they're on social media. So they, they have a whole huge community, right? So if, if you're doubting their legitimacy, uh, you can definitely go ahead and go ahead, do your own research, look them up there too, guys. Okay. But yeah, guys, <laughs> auto farm is really, um, auto farm is really crazy guys. Auto farm is really crazy. I love auto farm. Cause like you can see your projections too, guys. Like, you know, you're, you can see where you're going, you know, you can see how much you're making, where you're going. Right. And take just fat profits guys. Um, it's, 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 it's just awesome. It, you know, and once you, once you start, um, you know, using it too, guys, you're going to be smiling like I am, you know, you're going to be smiling, you're going to be happy. Uh, it's going to be fun for you. So those are the DeFi protocols I wanted to show you guys for today. You know, um, you know, I think I've showed you guys some similar things in my previous video, which is fine too. But these are the protocols I want to show you guys today. There are a few other ones as well, too. Um, that I'm looking at too. I'll show you guys in another video, but uh, just know that this is auto farm. You have to be on the Binance smart chain to make sure that you're able to use this. Um, and the last one I'm going to show you guys is the Polys app. And this is obviously on the Matic blockchain. So if you're on the Polygon blockchain, you're able, this is, has the same similar setup to pancake swap. You're able to uh, pretty much yield farm on Polygon as well uh, and earn your yields. Now look at this guys. This has an APY of 30,000% with PZAP and PZAP guys uh, is actually listed on coin market cap and it is traded on the market and there is liquidity for pzap so if you're using polygon and you like to yield farm in polygon you can make massive returns uh with pzap here right thirty thousand percent um you have almost a hundred thousand percent with the pzap and btc right um, I would probably try PZAP and USDT. It probably it's just a little bit more stable, right? Bitcoin. Actually, you can try Bitcoin too. Bitcoin, um, you know, Bitcoin is not really stable. Obviously, we know it's volatile, but we know it's a store of value. So yeah, you can probably try that too. But personally, I'd probably try the uh, USDT, the stable coin. PZAP earned thirty thousand percent a year, guys. That is just amazing, guys. If you take it, if you take a look, right? So. PZAP per thousand, PZAP's about like 80 cents. Uh, by the end of the year, you're getting four, uh, over 400,000 PZAP, right? Round PZAP to a dollar, that's over $400,000, right? So if you round it to 80 cents, it even it's over, you know, two, two to $400,000 by the end of the year, just putting a thousand dollars, guys. I mean, that's a no brainer. Um, and you're constantly, you're just earning it, right? So you're yield farming, you're earning it daily, you're earning it weekly, you're earning it monthly, you're earning it yearly. And that's just how it goes. You know, that's just the game. That's how the game goes, right? So this is uh, what I love, love to look up and, and talk about, guys. <clears throat> long-term investing, long-term moves, and moves that that are definitely going to bring you from like point A to point like, you know, D uh, and beyond. So if you guys got that, right? So that's pretty much, that's pretty much what it is, guys. That's pretty much what it is, right? So um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. I will definitely be here to answer them, help you out in any way that I can. Um, you know, if you have any questions about any of the other projects that I'm involved in, like in terms of Tron case, in terms of Hyper Fund, in terms of We Share Abundance, uh, a couple other ones too, uh, definitely leave comments below. I'll be happy to answer them, help you guys out. You guys have been reaching out. Really appreciate that. Um, and, you know, I'm glad I can be helped to you guys as best I can too. So I'll see you guys soon in the next one.